Hi, my fellow photographers. This is Krishan Srinivasan, a fine art photographer, a distance skater, and a small time freelance skater who also does some cross training activity with walking and bicycling for my long distance skating. I have come to meet you guys with another video. This is probably going to appear on my, uh, you know, Krishan Arts and Photography channel, but it's a very common content wherein, like, I could use it for my. Uh, skating as well as bicycling videos as well it's very common but i thought like i would present it on my krish arts and photography channel okay so i feel that is a uh, topic to be very essential okay so hence i thought i'll talk about it okay and i also would want to mention it it's coming out of fomo fear of missing out <laughs> who would have thought okay so let me put my phone in silence and let's go and open the web page and you can see me on the right top corner so what we are going to look here is a software called obs uh, studio okay the full form of obs is open broadcaster software so what is broadcasting broadcasting is something when you do you know like in live uh, activity as in like when people are able to watch what you do or watch what you say live as in like in real time i am sitting in sri rangam i am talking and making this video if people were able to see this video in real time from anywhere in the world it's called live streaming and that's also called broadcasting that's what people are going to uh, you know use this software for i have been using this software for very long time when i said uh, have been using this software for a lo very long time it doesn't mean me necessarily me i'm talking about the world is using this software for a very long time so this software has been existing for many many years i don't know when and uh, uh, for the fact check i can say that i heard about this software for the very first time in my 2020 uh, probably after the you know corona lockdown time in india i came to know about this and uh, i've been exploring this various ways uh, you know in my computer and only due to the limitations of my hardware i couldn't uh, you know completely use this software as my regular go to tool for live streaming uh, or in fact do live streaming uh, you know, like uh, I couldn't be able to use the software. Okay. I have done only one live streaming so far. That video you can uh, obviously go and check on my YouTube channel, which is my personal YouTube channel and uh, should be available there. Okay. So, and that, uh, you know, like a live streaming of YouTube video is about some skating website, uh, you know, tour or something like that. Okay. You can go and check it out there. Okay, and uh, my personal uh, YouTube channel's YouTube ID is at Krishnan Srinivasan 830 or 830 in American terms. O is numerical zero. Okay, so what you got to do is like you got to go and visit this page uh, obsproject.com. Download the software for your operating system, Windows, Mac OS or Linux. It's available available for Linux. Let me tell you, since I only use Mac OS operating system, I have not tested it with Linux operating system or Windows operating system. Okay, I've used it so far only with Mac OS operating system. You can go ahead and download that. Okay, or you can go ahead to the downloads page and you can download the installer. Okay, for whatever operating system that you're aiming for. And it itself will automatically de detect the operating system that is there in your computer and it will give you all the necessary installer files either for apple silicon or either for intel based mac uh, computers or apple computers okay so that's what this is this page would do for you okay there are many more aspects to this wherein like oh, you have forums you have plugins you have scripts this obs studio software is in itself uh, separate topic as in like uh, if i want to talk about things that is happening in live streaming i can start a separate youtube channel only for live streaming it has so much content that one can keep exploring and exploring and exploring 
Live streaming has hardware. Live streaming has software. Live streaming has softwares from various companies. Live streaming has hardware from various companies. You can do it with your mobile phone, apps for your mobile phone. There are apps for your iPad. There are apps for your computers. And it's endless topic. If I'm going to explore this in detail, I can actually start a separate YouTube channel and explore it, but I'm not going to do that. I want to give you a very pinch of the taste of live streaming here. That is what I'm talking because in the future, I see that live streaming is going to be more common among people. You know, like it's very difficult for us to, you know, make a video, then get it back to our home, copy it to a computer, edit them, add sounds, add titles transition end card add music if need me and then you sit to upload them to the respective channels if you have been uploading to various channels other than youtube go to upload it to every one of them uh, and separately do it separately it's that much amount of data is being used back then and it's a very tedious process that's where live streaming comes in wherein like i use a software like this obs studio or something and then I start live streaming and it is possible to live stream to multiple platforms as in like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, you know, like, and uh, you can go to Vimeo, uh, Patreon, many other, many other sites that you want to live stream, you can go ahead and live stream all at the same time. There will be little latency, but it's going to happen in real time for the most part. And uh, you don't have to edit. That's the biggest thing. And whatever you get as a live sound, that is going to be recorded. Okay, so enough of that very, very long intro. Let's cut everything else. Imagine that I have downloaded this software installer and installed it. Okay, and I have it in my computer. So this is how OBS Studio's icon would look on Mac OS operating system. For most part, it's going to be the same on Windows and Linux as well. Okay, depending upon the GUI that you have on Linux, as in like, if you have, I have been using Linux, I have used Linux for about 1.75 years for sure. And it was on and off with Ubuntu and probably you could call it three years, okay. So uh, 1.57 years, you know, I've been uh, regularly using Fedora and I had uh, Gnome as my GUI. So I think OBS Studio should work fine with that setup. But my Fedora was like with AMD machines. So Linux and AMD machines always have a little bit of conflict, but it works well. But I would suggest Intel machines for uh, Linux. And so it should work fine in those machines. And uh, with Windows operating system, uh, AMD or Intel, it'll work just fine. Okay, so and to be specific, OBS is more, uh, uh, you know, advantageous when you're trying to use it with Windows operating system, because like it has so much plugins, so much uh, scripts, you can enhance the software as you wish, and you can bend it as you want. Okay, so but it needs a powerful uh, computer. Okay, that is the key underline of this entire thing, you will need a powerful computer okay with a uh, quite amount of ram say like um, 16 to 32 gb of ram for live streaming and you need a very good uh, like probably 10 core processor you know at least uh, to handle the amount of data that it is doing okay so this is obs studio for you this is how it looks as soon as you open the OBS Studio. So you can consider this as my intro and intro to the topic and intro to the software. Okay. So what you have here is OBS Studio and you can also take this topic, which I'm talking right now is for, you know, like as the most, most uh, basic thing. Okay. It's not going to be a uh, pro level tutorial or it's not even a tutorial, but the aspects that I know and use about OBS Studio on a basic level of live streaming, okay? So when you open the software, this is how it looks, okay? What you see here, a very big window, which is blacked out, okay? Then it says like something called scenes on the left, then you have sources here, then you have audio mixture, then you have scene transitions here, 
and then you have various tabs as which is talking about start streaming start recording start virtual camera studio mode settings exit okay on the bottom you have some signal uh, thing that is there then you have uh, times and then it talks about the cpu power and then it talks about the frame rate okay fps stands for frames per second okay you don't have any sources click the plus button below and or right click here to add one all those things then you have some gear icon which is like settings you have more options for it down arrow up arrow and many many things okay properties filters and then you have menu and all that okay so this is obvious studio software just like that when you open and when you look at it you have so much detail already here it also says the version and everything for your uh, convenience i'll show the obvious studios version of mine so it is 30.2.364 bit version obvious studio is a free and open source video recording and live streaming software okay and there are plenty of people who are supporting this project you can understand by the amount of uh, you know regular constant uh, you know supporters they they have been uh, shelling their money on this software on a regular basis that's how the project is being built and it's going growing and bigger bigger day by day okay so these many supporters you can see how many users are there for obs studio okay so thanks to all the patron uh, supporters contributors i haven't contributed to obs studio i've been just using it uh, not for live streaming all the time just only once but you know to study and learn about it so if not for them i would wouldn't be possible so thanks to every single people who donate and make this open source software available for free for everyone okay thank you so much guys so that's the version of obvious studio i have it on my computer okay so if uh if we go here and if i go to check for the updates it's going to check for the update and let me know what it is so you are up to date so uh, as per the update that is uh, required my uh, obs software is the latest version at the time when i am making this video so when i am making this video i am making this video on uh, 8th of september 2024 10 o'clock in the morning okay so that's done okay what else we need here we need to understand one thing so what do we do when when we make a video forgive me uh, it uh, my uh, hue on tablet always does it when i open a, you know like pen or uh, some thing to scribble on the screen okay so what do you do when you make a video so what do you do let's imagine a three act structure okay okay this is what you do in most of the video as in like you give a intro to the video then you start with the plot okay then you talk about the conflict of the plot and then you uh, give the resolution to the conflict and then you you uh, know like give the outro resolution or solution or whatever you want to call okay, this these things are very common or like in uh, other terms here, there is going to be a intro there is going to be a middle and there is going to be a end for the video this is all <laughs> any youtube video you know you take that youtube video you will have these elements okay forget about my inhale that was weird in how i don't know why it happened probably i need water anyways so this is how you make a video so imagine when you are doing a live streaming okay and you will also need similar concept like this so what you will need when you are doing a live streaming you will probably need some intro video okay wherein like you hold the audience as in like you announce like uh, you say like i'm going to be live on my youtube channel by 11 a.m. in the morning say like ist indian standard time so what you do is like you don't start your video ex exactly 11 you know not many are going to be available at that time so you give some 30 seconds of time for people to assemble to watch your video you'll need some viewers to watch your video right you can't go on streaming for nobody right otherwise you just can make a video and upload it later right so you could do that so you this is the pattern you will find in most of the broadcasting channels as well so you will find some 30 seconds of you know preparation time and then the video begins wherein like they roll a, a title video or the topic video then they give a display some text or something or then you have the presenter in the screen 
and there will be some flash news running okay in the bottom like this over here and then you have the logo of the company you know uh, the uh, TV channel that you're watching they'll have a watermark somewhere okay and the presenter will talk about the topic that they want to present and they will have a end okay this is how a live streaming would be okay and when you end you can have an outro or you don't have to have an outro and the, during the presentation you can have transitions or you don't want to have transition okay you can do all that okay this is this is the general format of any video okay so you imagine this you you so far you have following with me right do you follow okay so what we are saying like how a live streaming thing pattern would look like any movie would look like or any video would look like then we are talking about live streaming and to go further i'll give you one more example so we have movies right every movie uh, imagine there is uh, a complete movie with all the edits okay so the movie is like say like it's running for two hours okay so the the movie is full of scenes and you will you don't understand what is what so it goes between one cut to one another cut to another cut okay that's all we understand but in this two hours a movie might have 60 scenes i'm just giving a random number okay so we have 60 scenes in the movie to narrate a story with you know like a beginning a middle and an end okay we need 60 scenes okay in if you take one scene from that you know like you can't go like a uh, one scene like you are watching me right now right so this is just one screen one camera right in front of you happening in one take i'm talking to you you're listening to me i'm talking to you you're watching me either on the right hand corner or anything that is happening in the screen right in front of you okay it a scene can be like that as simple as that as well or it could be in multiple cuts okay so you're watching me on the right top corner then i will move myself to the left bottom corner or like i'll go completely into my video okay as the full screen okay or like i could have uh, you know like uh, various shots she scene is composed of num various number of shots it could be close up it could be long shot, mid shot, you know, the various type of shots. You compose, use those things. And when during the shot, a character might be, uh, you know, having a, a dialogue or something like that, you know, and many things. And so what this is talking about is you basically need a camera. Okay. And then you will need an audio source. So this is very very important these are the two essential things to make any video and these are the two essential things for live streaming as well so that is how this entire obs studio is built upon okay i'll tell you how okay so let's remove that this is uh, as, as a part of the intro let's go and understand the uh, software first Okay, let's go. Uh, for now, I've given you the brief introduction of what what is what or like how uh, things are, what is OBS Studio, where you download and all that and uh, how, uh, you know, a live stream scene is constructed or a video is constructed or any YouTube video is constructed and how a live streaming video is normally appearing on any broadcast channels and then how you do it in OBS Studio. That's why we are going to take a look at that. But before that, we need to understand the software, which we'll see it shortly.